Hello, my name is Danny, Danny Vanity. I play bass for Beretta Jane. The one thing that's cool about this record, I think, as opposed to other releases that we've done together, is that we've gotten a chance to record in the house where we've rehearsed and written the songs. And it's cool, we just brought all the gear, all the studio, into us. And I think a lot of bands are doing that now. It's refreshing and it's very, it takes the pressure off of you a little bit because you're just down where you're used to writing and rehearsing and you're in a comfortable atmosphere. and. I think the result of it was that the songs are a lot more advanced and a lot more complete as they go to recording rather than us writing parts while we're you know, in the process of recording. So we had a lot more chance to fine tune the songs before we released them. So we're all really happy with uh, where the songs are at. And I think that the release will show uh, you know, a, a mature record that's you know, just straight out rock and roll, a lot of fun. I think. Uh, I think people are going to enjoy it. I know I'm enjoying it. You will too. Bye. I haven't washed my hair. Look at this. I haven't washed my fucking hair in like a week. You know why? I've been doing this. What's this, you ask? Well, earlier when you saw Ruben in the tub talking about, you know, doing shit like a man and this, that, and the other, hitting everything exactly right, and blah, 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 blah. If he doesn't hit everything exactly right, it's up to me to somehow make it sound like he hit everything just right. So right now I'm editing the drums, and by editing I don't mean being able to do it digitally and replace things and make them hit everything, everything exactly right, but it's a matter of just manually turning up and down things. So like let's say that if he was like doing something like a, a roll and he happened to not hit his snare drum exactly as loud as before, I gotta sit here and record everything down to two tracks. So take 11 tracks and squish it into a small jar of shit. So I have to turn everything up and make it all sound pretty. I can't just click on a mouse and make it perfect like all the records that you hear out there now. So I kind of think I put off one of the chill. See you don't see me up there in a bathtub, you know, suds in my hair all max and relaxed and smoking cigars and I haven't slept in about ten days, resorting to drinking, not washing my hair. Hey Boone, good, dude. What? can you uh, explain why you had to uh, play your bass? Uh... Well, see, I'm glad to explain this to you. Turn, turn the bass on. See, in this uh, fine LA recording studio we find ourselves in, uh, it's a little bit of a grounding problem that uh, when I play the bass, as Evan will demonstrate here in a second, hear that? Kind of sounds like something's on fire. Let me, get, let me, make, sure crackling. I, let me make sure I get the. Uh, yeah, we get the crackling. All right. Got that? Yeah, it sounds real good. You know, so like, you know, pleasing to the listener's ears. So what I've actually decide, uh, discovered, if you come on right over this way here, is um, I have to ground myself. And how do you is, do that? This is Static X right here. This is our. I actually have to hold my toe again. I'll demonstrate the, toe. the, the fuzz oh. without. And if I put my toe, like so, around the metal bar, like uh, like so, magic, no fuzz. So, uh, see kids, he risked electrocution. I risked electrocution to for this fucking record. Parts. Absolutely. So yeah. What? Are you doing? Trying to mix. Dan, are you uh, recording? No. 
I'm tired of recording. I'm thinking about food and watching Judge Judy.